Hi and welcome everyone to another video. This is Sam Gabriel. I'm excited to be with you today and talk about uh, Terraform with vSphere, with Windows VMs, Windows Server 2019, how we can uh, create a VM in vSphere and also join it to an active uh, directory domain. I know uh, a few of you have asked this question, how can we uh, not only create a uh, VM inside of vSphere that is a Windows Server, and uh, but also how can we join that to a domain so I uh, finally got the chance to uh, test it and, and run it and uh, I'll share with that I'll share that with you today uh, so as usual if you like this video please uh, hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get more videos like this and also the um, code will be available if you click on the link in the description below this video you can get access to it for free and uh, yeah tell me what uh, you think of this video what other videos you'd like to see so uh, do that in the comments below this video um, and I'm happy to uh, to look into that so let's uh, let's get started okay so as I mentioned, we're going to use Terraform to create a Windows Server 2019 VM in vSphere. We're going to join that to an Active Directory domain. Alrighty. So before we do that, let's uh, take a quick look, quick whiteboard to see how everything is set up. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to be working on my uh, desktop or laptop. So this is the user's machine. And I'm going to use GitLab for my version control system. So upon a commit and a push into GitLab, of course, the source code gets updated there. And once that happens, GitLab will automatically trigger a, a, a plan inside of Terraform Cloud. So I'm using Terraform Cloud to store my state file, to look at credentials and store credentials securely encrypted at rest inside of Terraform Cloud, uh, cost estimation will kick in. In our case, there isn't really anything because we're running on-prem, but if you were to run this in uh, one of the clouds like GCP or Azure or AWS, you'll get an estimate of how much it's going to cost you uh, per month to run whatever resources you're about to provision. Policy checks kick in as well. I don't have any policy checks for this uh, demo. And then finally, the apply goes ahead and you know provisions the VM that we're trying to uh, to create. So because I'm running this in my own home lab, so it's an on-prem environment, and I'm using Terraform Cloud, which is a SaaS offering from HashiCorp in 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 the cloud. Uh, basically, I need a way to uh, have Terraform Cloud speak to my on-prem environment without having to open any firewalls inbound into my home. Uh, and that's where cloud agents comes into play. And I'm running a cloud agent inside of a Docker container in my environment. So as you can see in the environment that I'm, I'm provisioning in that, that cloud agent runs and Terraform cloud uh, basically, uh, or, or the agent pulls Terraform cloud every second asking for any uh, jobs that it, it can uh, go ahead and run and then the cloud agent is going to go into my uh, environment into vSphere and my home lab and basically create the Windows Server 2019 VM now once that's been created there is a customization phase at the very end that will add my static IP but also add that VM or that Windows machine into Active Directory. We'll join it to the domain in Active Directory and I'll show you how that works and then I'll log in with a with an AD user and show you that I'm successful in uh, logging into that machine. All right. So let's jump into the actual um, vSphere UI. And as you can see here, here's my Windows Server. Um, I've already run this before. I'm not going to run it live in front of you. It's, it takes about anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. So this has already been run. You can see the IP address is a static IP that uh, I configured. 
Uh, you can see the DNS name here. It's joined to this domain called adhome.local. So this is my uh, Active Directory domain. And the computer name that I specified here is win 2019 serve one. You can obviously add multiple uh, servers here. So, and they're all going to run in parallel as Terraform provisions them. So you don't have to wait uh, for one by one. So that's very helpful, obviously, when you're automating the process. And that's the whole point. We're trying to automate creating those machines, those servers, those Windows servers. So I don't have to go in the UI here and click and, and create a VM uh, one by one. Okay, perfect. So we see that it's it's created. If I go into Terraform, uh, Terraform Cloud, I can see the uh, run that happened. So the different phases I explained before. Here's the plan phase, which is a dry run to basically show you what resources will get created. So I see here one virtual machine that has index of zero because I'm only requesting one. If you requested two, then you have index zero and index one to give you two. And um, the parameters that, uh, that we're looking to um, configure inside of this, in this VM. And as you can see, there are two outputs that are gonna show up, the IPv4 of the machine and the IPv6 of the machine. Cost estimation, as I mentioned, there is nothing. And then finally, the apply phase. Uh, it went ahead and applied this, and it took us 11 minutes to uh, to get this machine uh, up and running. The outputs, as you can see, my IP address here, IPv4, and my IPv6 uh, address. So that's Terraform, and the state file gets uh, stored securely here inside of Terraform Cloud. And then the variables are also stored here. Not all the variables, some of the variables, I'll show you the ones that are not stored in Terraform Cloud. Uh, but basically all my sensitive variables I store here. So the local admin password for that machine when it gets created, uh, the vSphere server IP address or host name, the vSphere username and password, uh, also the domain admin user and domain admin password. Uh, this is necessary to be able to join that machine to uh, to the domain. So you need an account that has the necessary privileges to join a computer to the domain. So that's where you define here. As you can see, these are all sensitive. They are write only. I cannot make a change here. But uh, new to Terraform Cloud is this idea of variable sets, uh, where now I can create a global variable set and attach it to uh, workspaces in Terraform Cloud. And the way you do that, you go to settings, um, and I'm actually logged in with with a different uh, username, with with a different. Uh, actually, let, let me sign out and sign in again, so I can show you where that uh, where that is configured. Uh, let's see here. Okay, this one, this user should have the privileges of seeing everything inside of uh, Terraform Cloud in the settings section. So let's go to my org. And if I go to settings, okay, now everything opens up for me. So variable sets is here, it's still in beta, uh, but as you can see, I've defined this VMware home servers. I've applied them to specific workspaces. In this case, my workspace for, for the one we're working with today. And again, here are all the, the variables that I've created. And if I go into any one of those, you see, I can't see it, right? It's right only. So. That is my preferred method of implementing uh, Terraform. Again, it's securely stored. All the state files and, and the variables are securely stored uh, in Terraform Cloud. So that is that. And if we jump into the machine real quick, so I am going to run a web console into my Windows 2019 server. All right. Let's get in here. You can see here, sign in to AD Home. So that's my uh, domain name. And I am going to use a user that belongs to this domain. There we go, logging in. Very good. 
And what I want to do is I want to open the uh, I want to open this real quick, one of the folders here. And let's get in here and look at the properties. And as you can see, the uh, the domain is adhome.local. And let's just get this out of the way. And uh, my computer name is win2019 server one. And I'm, I'm attached to this domain. If I try to change this, it's going to ask me for, for a user that it has the privilege to do, to do these things, right? So just to show you, this has successfully um, joined the domain. And all is done through Terraform. And I finally want to show you the actual uh, main.tf file. Uh, so we're calling on the vSphere provider, as you can see here, and pinning it to a specific version. Always a good practice to do that. The username, password, and vSphere server, these are the, the users of vCenter or vSphere. Um, and a bunch of data blocks. Then here's my main resource block, and this is the virtual machine. Uh, as you can see here, the, the things we're calling, the number of CPUs, uh, a name, the data store, memory, and so on. I wanna call your attention to this block, which is the most important piece here for our video. Uh, and this is the customization block. So we have Windows options here because we're provisioning a Windows machine. And uh, here I give it the computer name. Uh, and since I'm joining it to the domain, I commented out the work group because you can join it to a work group instead. Uh, and in this case, join domain, you got to give it the domain name, the domain admin user and password and an admin password that is local to the to the computer as well so you can have that also defined the ones commented here are additional uh, parameters that you can define like the product key if you want to activate it uh, organization name and a few other uh, features as well or parameters as well that you can uh, define then the network interface section this is where you can define the ipv4 address uh, net mask dns server list dns domain which should match your Active Directory domain and the gateway. So all this information, if you want to use a DHCP IP instead, you can just remove all these completely and just create an empty network interface block and that should give you a DHCP IP. Uh, and that is pretty much everything I wanted to show you today. Uh, so just to recap, once again, we were able to create a a uh, Windows Server 2019 VM inside of vSphere with Terraform. And one more thing I forgot to mention is that we actually use Packer to create the template. So if we go back here just really quickly and go into the templates, this I covered in a previous video, the Win 2019 template base thin, this is a template in, v in vSphere that was created using Packer, which is another HashiCorp tool that is very useful to create uh, these template these templates so that when you're creating a VM with Terraform, it just clones that template and builds the VM that way. So it's very useful to to use that, and again makes makes the provisioning a lot faster as well. And you can always add uh, different things to that Packer image. So you may have multiple golden images that you can use for different teams depending on the need and what you really want to provision inside of that uh, of that image. So if you're interested in learning about Packer for Windows machines, um, again, I'll put in the description a, uh, a link to a blog post and a video for uh, for that as well. So finally, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Thank you for tuning in and hope to see you in another video.